Good morning, and welcome to the annual MTMTSS statewide networking session. I'd like to begin by thanking you all for your service in public education and in the specialized positions you hold. Today's networking session is an opportunity to grow in your skill set while learning from others about the great work happening across North Carolina. It's a chance to connect, reflect, and think ahead about the opportunities that await both you and our students. As many of you know, last year, I unveiled what I call Operation Polaris, which is the agency's four-year strategic plan. Within Operation Polaris is a North Star, which is that every student deserves a highly qualified, excellent teacher in every classroom. At the heart of Operation Polaris is students. This is because I want students to be at the center of all we do as an agency, our planning, our discussion, and our actions. I know the notion of being student-centered is second nature to you all, because your work is driven to support students both inside and out of the classroom. As many of you have seen, Operation Polaris includes four additional priorities for the department regarding K-12 public education. These include human capital, accountability and testing, literacy, and student support services. I know that many of these priorities align to your work, and while I'm with you today, I'd like to walk through where alignment exists with your day today and the agency's strategic plan. Learning recovery is one of the centerpieces of Operation Polaris, with the goal of serving districts and schools with the support to make evidence-based decisions to help students overcome the impact of lost instructional time. MTSS ensures teaming structures, a systems approach, problem solving, and data are used to ensure successful implementation and outcomes. Similarly, data and problem solving are a core focus of the Office of Learning Recovery and Acceleration. As MTSS is one of the frameworks to promote learning and recovery acceleration, it is aligned in its mission to support students and improve student outcomes. Literacy is also one of the key priorities of Operation Polaris. As educators, we know firsthand how vital the first few years of a child's education are, and that learning to read is essential to academic progress and success. We instinctively know that learning to read is an important milestone in a child's life, and that development of a habit of reading can transform a person's entire life. Literacy is the foundation of an education, which in turn can enable a child who begins in the most modest circumstances to climb the ladder of prosperity in their social, economic, and spiritual spheres. For these reasons and many more, literacy was a core focus within Operation Polaris, and I know the work of MTSS supports high quality core instruction in literacy. We know the best intervention for any academic, social, emotional, and or behavior difficulty is prevention, and that is what an NCMTSS focuses on. MTSS seeks to build strong systems of support, starting with evidence-based instruction and curricular materials for all students. The collaborative work of IABS and OEL is also a beautiful example of how to use MTSS as a framework for school improvement, specifically around early literacy. And the partnership of MTSS and Read to Achieve is vital for students who are experiencing reading difficulty. This partnership allows for timely, well-designed interventions to be available for students experiencing challenges with reading. Lastly, I know that MTSS implementers worked collaboratively with their IABS and Office of Early Learning Consultants during last year's MTSS implementers meetings to ensure that the work of the Excellent Public Schools Act was incorporated within the school improvement framework of MC NCMTSS. There is amazing work being done by you all to support literacy improvement in our state, and I am so grateful for your efforts. Another Operation Polaris priority where MTSS is prevalent is in student support services. We have decades of research that tell us that we can't separate academics from social and emotional learning behaviors. For that reason, the NCMTSS framework is an integrated model. The work of MTSS supports both adult and student social and emotional learning. Social and emotional competencies are important for academic success, as well as college, career, and community readiness. While this work is often connected with student support services staff, integrated social and emotional learning engages and supports all staff in a building and in a district. Just like academic supports, social, emotional, and behavioral supports exist on a continuum. 
They include preventative and proactive approaches for all students that help create safe school and classroom environments, as well as a pre-planned intervention system that is easily accessible to students who need additional support. This work is so important to increasing student access to high quality instructional services each day. Finally, when looking at Operation Polaris, you will see that educational equity is woven throughout the model. I know this tenant is also a cornerstone of MTSS implementation. MTSS is a framework for all students and is designed to meet the needs of every student in the building, not just those who are struggling. When district and school leadership teams spend time defining their teaming structures, problem solving procedures, and their continuum of support with the whole child in mind, all students benefit from high quality instruction and safe, inclusive learning environments. I'd like to thank you all for the work you do to support North Carolina students in schools. You help students to grow and thrive through your commitment to collaboration, leadership, and data-based problem solving. I am grateful for the chance to join you all virtually this morning, and I hope you have a fantastic day of networking with one another.